What's up, guys? Tiny Dog here, and welcome to a new episode of Minecraft Fun. Um, so, a lot has happened. Skyrim came out, and um, Modern Warfare came out, so it's pretty much what I've been doing the last uh, couple weeks. Um, even though I know about um, the new 1.0, which I put out a little teaser video, whatever. But so now I wanted to, uh, you know, finish up on our industrial craft for 1.7.3 so we can move on and start tackling 1.0, which I'm going to probably do a brand new uh, Let's Play series, you know, starting from scratch. And then we'll implement because I know Buildcraft has actually put out a 1.0 uh, version. And I haven't even touched it, but there's a lot of stuff that has to do with energy and new types of cool things. Um, that I don't have no idea what what it does, but we'll figure it out. Um, so let's these next. I think I'm gonna make two or three more videos on finishing up. We're gonna. Sh I'm gonna show you in this video uh, two different kind of reactors. Uh, one that's low maintenance and an, but will produce uh, not a lot of power. Um, you know, slow energy. And then I'm going to show you a crazy Uber um, reactor that'll spit out crazy uh, EU's energy. Um, but you're going to have to keep your eye on it or else it'll blow up and ruin your beautiful reactors. So our first one is called a Mark I design. Um, these are like the basic reactors. And this is based off Nargon, the guy who I've been um, following who showed us how to make a perfect breeder, which is this is the breeder. And it's kicking butt, but um. So yeah, th I'm gonna make this Mark One. Uh, it's called a Mark One OD. I don't know what those numbers mean, but it's called a Mark One OD, and it's from Nargon's design. So, what we want, we have our our nuclear reactor, which I showed you guys how to build. Um, and in here, so you can see, I got this configuration right here of coolant cells and integrated heat dispersers. So just take a minute to look at that. All right, this is a Mark One design, and I didn't put any um, uranium cells in there yet to start producing energy because I wanted to start fresh with power levels. See, so our power level is at zero right now, and supposedly this will do 60 EUs a second, or something like that. 60. So as you can see, 60 EUs to fill up a million um, is going to take a while. But it's very basic, so if you're like, you know, if you're going to want to just leave your reactor on and go do something, then this is a, a good um, way to check it out. Um, actually, I'm going to check how much it use our breeder puts out. It's putting out. Okay, let's see. Three EUs. It's pretty sad. You use a tick. Okay, so let's see if we can bring out that energy a lot more f faster or whatever. Um, oh, let me turn on the water first. So, so the heat buildup doesn't go too crazy. Um, I haven't tested this out actually yet. So it's going to be our first. So we're at zero right now. And so we have our reactor here. Now this is the the re coolant and the heat disperser configuration. Um, somehow this Nargon figured it out. He's the man. And we stick this in here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to have to replace the, the coolants after a while or I can just leave it hanging. So let's take a look. Alright. Oh my gosh. Look how fast that energy is going wow that's crazy and right now we're at 57 you use a tick oh uh, well that is awesome guys so we are producing fifty seven you use a tick so this will this will get you know filled up pretty fast imagine having two or three of these going on at the same time and 
uh, you know, we'll, we'll be spitting out enough energy to get that mass fabricator going. So, I really like the way this, uh, and it looks like it's not burning through our reactor coolant cells fast. So we could just have this going. Oh, let's check the heat with our thermometer mod. And we're at 29 whole heat. So we're, we're, you know, it's steadily climbing, but it's not going that fast. So that's good. So we're ready at uh, 100,000. And that was, what, less than a minute? Maybe two minutes? So we'll definitely, we'll get to, let's see, two minutes. Oh, let's say a minute. No, two minutes. 100,000. So... Um, 10 minutes will get us to 500,000. Okay, so 20 minutes, a million. Uh, I can't think right now, but yeah, something like that. So that's not bad. But of course, we want it to go a lot faster. I mean, yeah, I'm thinking this would be great if you had, you know, four or five reactors going at the same time. And you had this low maintenance or oh, you you'll definitely that would be a great idea have five of these reactors you know or maybe you know three or four it depends what, how much you want to make but and it looks looks like it's not burning through our integrated cells and man it's just filling up real fast so that's good it's real good so that's the first design the mark 1 o d one mark one OD. I don't know. That's the name Gargon gave it. So you know, slow energy, fifty-seven. Fifty-seven EUs. Um and uh yeah. Looks good. I like it. Let's check the whole temp. It's only at thirty one, that's nothing. Nothing at all. So that's one design. And now I'm going to set up the second one, which will give us, I think it's like 200 to use a tick or something like that. It's ridiculous. So we're at 200,000. Yeah, so, you know, that's one design, Mark 1. Um, so, yeah, let's go into the other design. So give me a sec. All right, guys. So we're back, and I've set up the new reactor. Um configuration I guess so I put in a new MFSU, MFSU so we can start at zero okay and um, here is what it looks like okay so these are our reactor uh, I mean our heat disperser and our coolant cells this is how it's gonna look now this very important this reactor is gonna only last about 10 minutes I think um, 600 and something seconds he said is a good time to keep it running um, before the heat gets out of hand and it could really cause a meltdown so uh, you just want to keep an eye on that okay make sure you cool it down but this is going to spit out a ton of energy so you will definitely hit that um, 1 million mark for your mass fabricator a lot faster than the mark 1 so this is the Mark 4 B. Okay. So let's put in our uranium cells. Hope I have enough. Might have to cheat. I think I'm gonna have to cheat. Okay, so just gonna put our bad boys like this. And I know that energy is ready to start pumping. Okay. And here. Uh, oh, it's just short one. I think I have one. Yes. Okay, so. There. So there's our. For some reason, he left these two things blank over here, so just do it. I don't know. So now. Oh, and then look. Look how fast our coolants are starting to go down. And our heat disperser. So, as you can, as you can see. It's very important you keep an eye on this and at around the 10 minute mark, 600 seconds or so. And look at that, we're ready at the 200,000 
And all right, let's see how long it takes. Three hundred thousand. I'm looking at my clock. <laughs> yeah. So, not even a minute, guys, and we're ready to hit a hundred thousand. We are. Wow, that is fast. All right, so this is gonna be way more energy. And look, oh man, we're already at a thousand heat. Remember, at eight thousand, we're gonna have to shut this puppy off. I mean, what? No, thirteen thousand, everything melts. So around ten thousand heat, you want to shut that guy off. Um, oh, let's see how much we're pushing out here. Three hundred and eight EUs every tick, guys. That's better than fifty-seven, right? Or were we sixty? And we're gonna hit a million. In, in about two minutes yeah we're about to hit a million in maybe two three minutes and we'll definitely get our mass fabricator will start pumping out that matter so so yeah here's two designs um, the mark one which I just showed you before and this is the mark 4b which is gonna spit a ton of um, energy and now I guess we can transition to getting our mass fabricators made which I'll do next episode. So um, I pretty much showed you the, the two ends. I mean, there's ton of reactor designs. This is not. There's not only two. There's Mark Two, Mark Three, Mark Four. There's like Mark One, B, A, whatever. There's like so many variations. You know, I just wanted to go for the two extremes. That um, Nargon and his genius. Guess he figured out how to do and. Um, Let's see if we hit that million. Oh, look, we hit a million. A million in about four minutes. It's a beautiful thing. And that's how much energy we need for our mass fabricator to spit out. Um, to get, I think, to get it chugging to start make it matter. So, as long as we have our perfect breeder, which is still going on, I don't need to check on it. It's all good. As long as we have our uranium coming out, because we're going to have to, definitely going to have to make coolant cells a lot more. I think you can recharge these. I'm not sure how, though. But, yeah, so our energy is spitting now. We're going to hit 2 million. And, uh, yeah, so that will conclude this episode, uh, which just covered, you know, two different kind of nuclear reactors you can make one that's very low maintenance that you can go and do stuff this one you're gonna have to check on I think it only lasts for 10 minutes my thermometer is gonna blow up after. yeah it's already at 3100 so you just got to keep an eye on that okay so next episode we're gonna start we're gonna make um, this mass fabricator and then we'll make uh, some wires to go with it. We need to make new kind of energy crystals, which are called Lapatron crystals, which store a ton more energy. And um, yeah, we're gonna make, make new kind of machine blocks. So the next one's gonna have a lot of building in it. And then we will wire it up to uh, start getting that mass fabricated and get that matter. And then when we get the matter, we make, see these are Lapatron crystals gonna have to make that um, let me see if I can show you guys here so this is all the matter this is what oh in iridium plates you need to make the plate to make the quantum body armor which is like epic the best body armor for this mod um, we're gonna need to make these plates which use matter so that's the whole the whole point of me making this um, mass fabricator. And all right, so I will catch you guys next episode. Leave me in the comments, and I will see you guys real soon.